Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gemma. Um, if you haven't been here before, welcome. And today I am doing another tag video. Um, so I've met so many lovely people since I've been here on booktube and I'm starting to get like some tags come through and I'm like really far behind. So uh, for all the people that have tagged me, they are all in my schedule. I have like a massive Excel sheet because I'm a pure geek. Um, so tags are a common. So they are all coming, but today I'm doing the Stock Aiken and Waterman Challenge. Challenge? Tag? Tag challenge? Um, which is an original tag by Jennifer Loves Books. She is a new booktuber and I highly recommend you go and check her out. She's so lovely, got a really cosy vibe, reads pretty broadly. Um, but especially good recommendations, I would say, for thrillers. Um, she's added quite a lot to my tbr so um i will link all her details below definitely check her out and so without any further waffle and shenanigans i'm going to kick off sorry for keep looking down i have my trusty piece of paper here with all the um <coughs> questions prompts written on them <coughs> so that's why i keep looking down if you see me doing that so stock aitken and waterman were music producers in the 80s i want to say um I'm not super up on my music stuff, so check out the original tag where Jennifer does like a great job of um, explaining it and doing it in a really funny way, whereas my way is just gonna be probably a bit um, like, Gemma, what are you talking about? But I'm gonna give it a go, I'm gonna give it a go. So the first question, okay, so all of these questions are related to music tracks. So the first one, is related to the song You'll Never Stop Loving Me by Sonia. And for this, you need to come up with an author whose books you will automatically read, even though some of their books haven't lived up to your expectations. Um, so the author that comes to mind here for me is Kristen Hanna. Uh, I have only read three of her books. I'm awful for reading like multiple books by the same author. Issue for another video. Um, but two of her books I absolutely loved and gave five stars, which were The Nightingale and Winter Garden. Uh, and The Great Alone, I also thought was very good, but it was only a four star, only, only a four star. Uh, but I will buy everything she reads and she's an auto buy pre-order author for me now. So that would be my answer for this one. The next track that we are talking about is You Spin Me Round by Dead or Alive. And for this, you need to come up with a book that's got so many twists and turns in it that it makes you feel dizzy. Uh, and for this, I'm going to pick a book that I read last year, which is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This had quite a lot of buzz on BookTube and various other <clears throat> booky places, but it was so good. And it did just keep you guessing all the way through. And it like it messed with your head and you're like, wait, what? What's going on? Who's that? So, um, yeah, I absolutely highly recommend this. This is sort of a sci by thriller um but would highly recommend especially if you don't read loads of sci-fi and you're looking to get into it it's a very good place to start next up we have too many broken hearts by jason donovan and for this you need a book that broke your heart <laughs> um and i read a lot of those so it's quite hard to actually narrow them down but i have gone for after the end by claire mcintosh <clears throat> excuse me croaky um this book, I pretty much cried for the whole first half. Um, trigger warnings here for Death of a Child. Um, anything with that in is going to get me going because I have two, uh, three children, two sons and a stepdaughter. And yeah, this one got me in the feels. Um, it was really heartbreaking. Um, it follows a mother and father whose son is is terminally ill and they have to make a decision whether to continue treatment or not and i was a blubbering mess mess but it was five stars i would absolutely recommend you check it out and i think it was loosely based on the, an experience that the author has had um so yeah bear that in mind the next track is love in the first degree by banana rama and here I've got to give you a book or tell you who my favourite fictional couple are. Now, 
I don't read a huge amount of romance, so I don't really have a, a couple like that. But I think the couple I'm going to have to go for here are Cathy and Heathcliff from Wuthering Heights. So this was a book that I read in high school and I absolutely adored it. It's um, sort of it kicked off my love of classics, I suppose. Um, and it's still like one of my favourite books of all time. They're a very <clears throat> dysfunctional couple, I suppose you would say. I think most people know the story. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to pick them for this one, I think. Next up, we have I Should Be So Lucky by Kylie Minogue. And uh, for this, we need a book by an Irish author. You know, look at the Irish. I know I have awful, awful accents. Just don't start. Um, so for this one, I'm going to go classic again. And I'm going to go for Bram Stoker's Dracula, which again is like one of my absolute all-time favourite classics. It's so accessible. And I think this was actually the book that I recommended to Jennifer. So I thought it had some nice symmetry if I uh, then mentioned it again in my tag. So uh, yeah, if you haven't picked it up, Jennifer, just a reminder. Number six. Say, say I am your number one by Princess. And um, for this... I need to give you my favourite award-winning or prize-winning book. Um, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go a bit retro here. I'm gonna go back, back to the olden days uh, and choose a children's book for this. And I'm gonna say The Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. So I'm pretty sure most people are aware of this. This is a series, his Dark Material series. There are three in this original trilogy and then he's got some more after, but that's another issue. Um, and this one, the Carnegie Medal in 1995, apparently. I was only eight at the time, so I wasn't really paying that much attention to prizes. But this book was so good. Um, sort of one of my early fantasy rendezvous, I suppose. Um, I should probably reread them, actually. Um, but yeah, prize winning novel, Northern Nights. Number seven is The Harder I Try by Brother Beyond. And this is a an author that no matter how, try, how hard you try, you cannot get into them. And this one for me is Stephen King. I have tried three of his books now. Um, and I've tried like different types of books. I've read It, I've read Mr. Mercedes, and I've read The Institute. And they're just not for me. I don't see what all the hype is about. They're just a bit meh. Um, well, obviously a lot of people don't agree with me because he's like one of the best selling authors like, ever. But yeah, he's just not for me. So if, if you think there's a Stephen King book out there that is nothing like It, Mr. Mercedes or The Institute that is going to change my mind about Stephen King, drop it in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I just, I just don't get it. I just can't. No, not for me. Next is Happening All Over Again by Lonnie Gordon. And for this, I need to tell you my favourite sequel or series. Uh, this is an easy one. It's going to be Lord of the Rings by um, Master Tolkien. And uh, yeah, I don't really feel like there's anything to, more to be said about it. It's Lord of the Rings. If you don't know what Lord of the Rings is, then... Um, where have you been your whole life? Um, but yeah, I read these around the same time that the movies came out. Um, obviously, as with all, well, not all, but the majority, the books are much better and more detailed than the films. But I did think the films were very good as well. And I have, well, I've read the books once. I've watched the films many, many, many times. So uh, that's what we're given for this one. Number nine, we've got Toy Boy by Sunita. And for this, I've got to give you my favourite poet or poem. Now, I don't read poetry. It's not my jam. I don't really like it. Um, so, but I do sort of have an answer. <laughs> it's a book that rhymes, an author that writes books that rhymes. <laughs> and I'm going to go for Julia Donaldson, the likes of The Gruffalo and um, Snail and the Whale. <laughs> They rhyme. I'm going to call them poetry. And so that one wins uh, wins this, this prompt. <laughs>
And then we have Together Forever by Rick Astley. And this for this, you have to give the book that's been on your TBR the longest. Um, I'm just gonna go grab it, hang on. So this one is one that technically isn't mine, it's my parents, but it's been on their shelves for ages. I've wanted to read it for ages and then I stole it about two years ago, put it on my bookshelf and I still haven't picked it up. And that is The Once and Future King by T.H. White. Um, this is quite a big, you can see how old it is, look how yellow it is. Um, <clears throat> but this is a sort of Arthurian legend type book. And uh, yeah, I really liked, what's it called? Um, the Mists of Avalon by, I've forgotten her name. I'll put a picture of it up here. Um, and so I do want to read more Arthurian legend. Um, and this is obviously like one of the classic Arthurian legend books. So I want to pick it up, but I haven't got to it yet. So hopefully soon, hopefully soon. I think that's all of them now. Oh wait, no, no, there's a bonus track, bonus track. And it's especially for you by Kylie and Jason. And for this one, you have to recommend me a book um, that you think I will love. So drop in the comments any books that you think I will love and that I should pick up. Um, hopefully, well, I have a pretty eclectic taste, so you can recommend pretty much anything um, that isn't out and out romance and I will like it. So <clears throat> drop that below and I'm going to tag some people and this time I have had a check before I... Um, I'm tagging people to make sure that they haven't already done it. Um, so I'm going to tag Becky from Teacup the Storyteller, Danielle from Tea and Books and Alice from Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. They are all amazing booktubers who are so, so nice. So please go and check them out. Um, and I look forward to seeing their answers to this tag. Okay. And just one more thank you to Jennifer for tagging me in this video. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.